Y'all, before we start this video, I want y'all to know I reacted to um, Corey's full video with, well, full live with him listening to Carmen's song. Um, I have it on Patreon. The link will be in the pinned comment. Girl, y'all enjoy. So let's get into this tea. We about to get into my good sis voice. Uh, Corey upset Maddie lied about him putting hands on her too. Let's get it. In my previous video from earlier today, that link is popping up as well since down below, I reported that Maddie had a bruise on her leg, which supporters were speculating that Corey put hands on her. Now at the time, Maddie said that she got the bruise from falling downstairs, but now that Corey went live and he's denying putting hands on Maddie and he's telling all of her business. Yes on live, Maddie is now telling the truth of how she really got that bruise. Now she posted uh, yes, honey, so. up a text message between her and her friend. Now her friend asked about the location so she could send the police and she also asked if he had a weapon. Wait. <clears throat> Can you call the police to his low? Okay, I'll call when pulling up. Does he have a gun? Uh, Yes, that's why I'm scared to bother because the other day, ish wasn't pretty. How... What? Truth is, y'all, he does pull his gun out on women. This alone speaks for itself, LMAO. But yeah, I told him to stop. You already done you already done enough, my nigga. You write about one thing. I will finish you. I'm your worst nightmare, cause now I don't give a F. Oh, okay. I'm so scared. It's okay. Let's just pray. I'm hoping his phone just died, but I don't know why his others ain't answering. So him just pulling guns out on women like this is cool. pulling it out at all. Like nigga, you should have been told. Let me tell you something. Corey going to run into the wrong bitch, bro. <laughs> you going to run into the wrong one. It only need to be pulled out when it's going to be used. That's it. Weapon, which Maddie said that he did. Maddie captioned the text message. She said, truth is, y'all, he does pull his gun out on women. This alone speaks for itself. But yeah, I told him to stop. You already done enough, man. You write about one thing. I will finish you and I'm your worst nightmare because now I don't give a fuck. She also posted a text message between her and Qu <clears throat> I just want to have a good day. So why can't you wait for me? I really want to be alone at the moment. A lot on my mind. It's always something that you brings he said i'm abusive why she be covering up some of her text messages but okay if you need some something me no don't want to start girl like why wouldn't you put that arrow over there off the message i'm over this we just got into a huge fight where i was left with bruises and bled because of you and social media what? So you putting hands on her too? Over here putting that act on Instagram and TikTok and shit. This nigga is a bum, bro. Like for real. I cannot believe this. Like what? I don't know if y'all seen this, but I'm going to go over it. I just want to have a good day. So why can't you wait for me? I really want to be alone at the moment. A lot on my mind. It's always something that brings da da da. Hold on. Corey. And she captured. I'm over this. We just got into a huge fight where I was left with bruises and bled because of you and social media. Bro, are you crazy? You going to run into the wrong bitch. And you're going to be up how the hell boy you through. Neighbors with Jesus. Because what is wrong with you? He running into the wrong ones. That just pissed me off. I'm not even going to lie. Like what's mind boggling is he keep coming on here acting like he ain't doing this shit. That's, that's really mind boggling. Like my nigga, are you serious? And that's what's eating his ass alive. Because he's lying. You're a liar. He said I'm a
abusive. Which she's proving that he's abusive because she texted him letting him know what he did before he left. She said, I'm over this. We just got into a huge fight where I was left with bruises and blood because of you and social media. Maddie also tweeted and said, you fucked I blame his mama too. Girl on me, never taking you back. That's just me, LOL. Now, a few days ago, Maddie was saying that Corey was staying with another woman when she thought this was his new girl. But Corey posted up a video today where he went live with the lady and he's calling her mom and he says that they have a mother-son type of relationship. The lady also posted and said that she doesn't mess with married men. I ran away. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think um this lady, I don't think she want him. I ain't gonna lie. If anything, she using him for some meat. But, um, and that's if it's happening, I don't know. I don't know. I ain't with him. Hell. But my nigga, like, this nigga is a bro. <laughs> For my safety. Y'all want me to get down and just say some fuck though shit, huh? Listen, I don't even want some promo from you, no. You got it. <laughs> 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 um, Mr. Run. Uh -huh. Hey, guys here. Okay, I know the women. I'm going to ask y'all a question real quick. I got any guys here. Okay, I know the women. I know women with common sense. So with this whole pregnancy situation, right? All right. So when it all came about, I bought the pregnancy test, right? And when I bought the pregnancy test, I, I tried to get her to take it, so I can like I want to see it. And in a bad way, I was just excited. I want to see it. She would never take it like with me around, right? Or she moving? Ah, oh, I gotta go move. She would never take it. She would never take it. When, when I was around. So I eventually went to Alabama, right? I went to Alabama and um, I had to go down there for some beans or whatever. And she called me, whatever, blase, blase, blase. It was like probably like 30 hours down there. And she was acting weird. So I'm thinking she said she took the pregnancy test. So she, so she took the pregnancy test a couple of times, right? It just kept coming back negative, 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 like three on negative, whatever. Now all of a sudden, I go to Alabama, where I'm not there present to see this pregnancy test being taken, it comes back positive. Now all of a sudden, you're pregnant. I didn't see it, okay? Mind you, I'm just going off what I, I'm just going off whatever the fuck I seen. Now we all know that you can fake a pregnancy test, let's just keep it a band, cause I needed a plenty of time for a prank. Now, no doctor's appointment, no nothing. This shit crazy. Cause I just hope that I ain't being fooled. I swear to God, I hope, I hope that I didn't fall for something. Because the thing about this is, there's only two ways to go go. There's two ways to go go. If you're pregnant, all right, cool. I need a test, simple. Because it was two other guys that were having sex with this girl right before me, like literally right before me. I'm talking about like y'all like, like just weeks before me. She had just had sex with some other guys, whatever, right? So if you is pregnant, I need a test for sure to make sure to see if it is mine, first of all. Say that again. That we're having sex with this girl right before me, like literally right before me. I'm talking about like y'all like, like, just go, go. There's two ways to go, go. If you're pregnant, all right, cool. I need a test, simple. Because it was two other guys that were having sex with this girl right before me, like literally right before me. I'm talking about like y'all like, like just weeks before me. She had just had sex with some other guys, whatever, right? So if you is pregnant, I need a test for sure to make sure to see if it is mine, first of all. If you're pregnant. And if you are pregnant, I'll take my test. And if it is mine, I ain't gonna hold y'all. Like, bro, I'm gonna just be a father. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take care of my child regardless, but. No, you're not. I don't want to be with you. That nigga just be chatting. Live is going viral, and people are saying that Corey possibly put hands on her after Maddie's knees went out a bruise that was on her body, and Maddie said this. I want this to go. I was like, you need to put makeup on that bruise. I'm like, yeah. I fell. So, I remember that when she said she fell. She just, she just told me what happened. She dead ass fell. Jesus Christ. I, ain't, I did not do that on my mama. Don't play with me like that. Y'all be playing on my top, bro. Y'all, but anyway. So you lied. So you did. No, you're lying. <laughs> Listen, I ain't gonna lie. She's a liar too. Now, she is a liar. But them text messages just proved everything we needed to know. That girl going out sad right now. Dead ass. No, yeah, you're going out sad. Right Damn, now. this nigga Corey all over Facebook. No problem. 
I'm about to post all my shit. I'm gonna eat my grapes. Why can't this man just stop talking? Like, Corey, the one thing you write about is I will make your life a living hell and I won't take it easy. Worst part, really can't even sue this dude. He really don't have no money. He put his assets in other people's names. I give him that. He's a little smart, but not smarter than me. I'm loading up. Well, pass this information to Carmen because she got two kids with him now. Okay. Oh, y'all be believing this shit that y'all be fucking believe. I can't believe this shit, bro. I put him off and say, I kill you. You know what? Police, go tell me you'll take me to jail. Go take me to jail. Police, go take me to jail. Go lock my ass up. This is great comedy, bro. I moved a bitch in that same night. And you came back. You... Bro, this is some funny shit, bro. <laughs> I'm about to make a video right now after this of Carmen actually being correct about everything he's lying about in this video. Okay. The fact that the fact that this is out there and this is where I, I I'm I'm just not listening to the song, right? So now that I'm listening to it and I'm just like saying it's like wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. Hold up. Give me a second. Hold up. You can't be real. This can't be real at all. Oh. First of all. I'm trying to figure out why she's left still October pregnant. October 11. I called my assistant. Me too. And told my well, assistant. Well, to be honest, I don't know what the law is looking like now. Uh, If you get pregnant in Georgia, I don't know how far along you got to be in all that. Like, hey, to come down here because I'm going to need some help with my clothes, groceries, and shit like that. Ooh, I'm single now. And that was the 13th she came down. You never came back to the crib. He trying to play. Because first of all, you know damn well her saying you moved to... 555 in the chat. You moved in the, a bitch in that same night. She was rhyming with the song. Stop playing. The point is you moved a woman in, bro. This nigga is hell. Wow. Y'all got, got me listening to this shit. Y'all got me listening to this song. How the fuck I made this on a goddamn angel? Don't compare me to no Diddy. At all, bro. How the fuck Corey is that you made this? You know what? Now y'all fucked up. Nigga, I cannot believe. You know what I can't believe? I was told a long time ago that he was putting paws. Um, you know what? Just know the nigga been putting paws on Carmen, but um, not that I didn't believe it. It was just more so for me, like with these women, like. I don't understand how they just stay. As I started talking about these type videos, though, I do understand why some of y'all do stay. Um, it's almost like a damn slave owner, aggressor, I don't know, mentality. You're like afraid and things like that, which I completely understand for some women. But for some of us, I'll probably be in Cobb County. You know what I'm saying? I, it's just no way I'm going to look at you while you doing that to me, over me. I just, oh my God. I don't, I wish it wasn't like that. Like, and I definitely know it is levels to it. Niggas will catch you slipping. They'll go years, never hit you in a live, randomly do it. Um, I just, it just don't sit right with me, y'all. That shit makes me angry. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? I mean, niggas be bigger than you, stronger than you, faster than you. The women they choose be 5'4", five, 5'3", five, Carmen like five feet. Niggas be six feet tall. Six feet tall, brolic. Like, calling themselves a man. Beating on these women like that. Man. And don't get me wrong, some women do be trying it, boy. I, I'm fully aware of that. Some women do be trying it. But like, bro, it's ways that you can handle that. Like, the game literally said the other day, if a woman hit me, bro, I'm through with you. I mean, ain't nothing you can do to hurt me. But since I know that, you know, you that type of person, I got to get myself about that situation. 
And granted, Karma says she used to hear him things like that, um, which I, I am a firm believer of. You put your hands on anybody, they, you deserve to get hit back, period. Um, and I don't know if uh, Maddie was putting her hands on him first. You know what I'm saying? It is levels in this whole shit. But nah. Nigga being six foot tall with a five foot. It just don't sit right with me. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.